Awesome. So how's your weekend going? Mm, relax because yesterday it, mm, we decided to stay at home. Probably today go out to the park, but yesterday very, very relaxed. That's good. It's good to take a day off. Yeah. The weekend. Um, so we're going to start off with today's vocabulary of the day. Uh, let me know as soon as you have your Google Doc open. Okay. I'm going to try to open the Google Doc. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. I have my Google Doc. Awesome. So your words of the day are hint and hunt. Yes, you can see. Do you know either of those words? Hint, hunt. Mm. Hunt, no, no, hunter is cassette. Is exactly. Hunt, hunt is cassette. And hint, I don't, I don't. Hint is a slight or indi indirect indication or suggestion. Um, ah, okay. It can also be like considered like a clue. Okay. You know? Una pista. Una pista. Mm -hmm. And then hunt is to pursue uh, or kill a wild animal. But you can also use it to talk about um, looking for something with a lot of determination. So you could say, I'm on the job hunt. Okay. No, he hunted for a new job. All right. Um, put the sentences for both. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and write your sentences there. Could be. Sure. So the last one, recently I'm hunting for a new job. For. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for the first one, um, we usually don't say, give me a hint to find the shopping mall unless the person is hiding the shopping mall because it kind of sounds like, me das una pista para encontrar el centro comercial. Mm -hmm. Okay. It sounds okay. a little bit weird. Uh, uh, okay, change. Wait a minute. Could be. Could you please give me a hint over, ah, uh, yeah, 
exactly. So could you please give me a hint about about my my Christmas gift? Perfect. Exactly. Um. What was I gonna say? O over is more when I use the object. Uh, object. Um, over we could use to talk about um a discussion, a discussion over something. Um, but if we're talking about a clue, it would be a clue about something. Okay. 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 Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, this, these are both really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, on that note, we've been working the past few classes on our past tense. So we've already practiced our regular past tense um, and its pronunciation. And now we're going to work on our irregular past tense today and making some sentences to talk about uh, conversation questions in the past. So to warm up, we're going to start with the conversation question so that um, when we're making our own, we know exactly what kind of format we need to use. Okay. Okay? So, okay. on that note, let me share my screen with you and we'll start with our simple, oh no, where is it? Our simple past tense questions. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, conversations. When was the last, and you don't have to go in order, just decide on which one you want to ask me and we'll go back and forth, okay? Okay. Uh, but for all examples, are irregular words? Uh, no, I mean, these are already set up so that you can see how the questions are set up. Some of them are regular, some of them are irregular. For example, feel is felt, and that is an irregular verb. Okay. No, but borrowed is a regular verb. Okay. So we're just, <clears throat> we're here it's mixed. I just want you to see how we would ask these questions so that when we go and do our, let me show you, our, oops, no, not that. Our uh, irregular verbs, we're gonna set them up ourselves. So it's gonna be like, for example, if here it says, when was the last time you went on a date? Here you could ask, uh, when was the last time you uh, rode in a car? Or rode on a boat? Okay? Okay. So one thing at a time, we're gonna do this for about 15 minutes before we move on to making our own. Okay. But the idea is uh, the same the same exercise for to to yesterday. You asked me. Um, okay. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Are you done? One that we had for cool down yesterday. Exactly. Yes. Uh, when was the last time you traveled by train? Um, the last time I traveled by train was when I was living, uh, when I lived in Denver and I rode the train from Denver, Colorado to Marion, no, well, I rode the train from Denver to Iowa in the okay. United States for Thanksgiving. Uh, when was the last time you had a party? Wow. The, oof. My last time in a party was a, 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 a normal party was probably one year ago when I, when we was, we were mm -hmm. to birthdays for uh, colleagues in my job. Okay. A colleague in your, in your, in your work? In, in, yeah, in my, in my work. Colleague from work, perfect, awesome. <clears throat> two years mm. ago, did you say? What? Two years ago? 
one year ago. One year ago. That's a long time ago. Yes, because currently we go to not a party, probably a barbecue. Okay. Uh, because we try to go out with Santiago, with my son. Mm -hmm. um, when was the last time you lost money? <laughs> Last time I lost money. Um, I lost my well. I lost my wallet like maybe three months ago, and yeah, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I was less upset about the money because most of my cards I could just cancel them and it's fine. I mean, I didn't have that much cash, I don't think, but I. <clears throat> lost my ife which i was very upset about yes, getting your ife the, out is a nightmare yes but the problem is for your id because yeah. ah it's oh, uh, uh, a problem and i spend a lot of time to obtain it well exactly it's a lot of time and headache to get another id <laughs> so when was the last time you painted your house inside or outside the true mm, never because I rent this on apartment and the owner they spend the the the, the, the money and time for paying the, the apartment. Oh, that's nice. They spent the money painting the apartment. Yes, but the owner. The owner. Uh, I don't spend anything. Perfect. You? Uh, I, I asked the painting the question. Painting ah, the house question. Right, right, right. right. Mm, wow. When was the last time you bought a CD? Oh. <laughs> a long time ago? Like a really long time ago. Probably you. Uh, the last time I bought. 2011. E yeah, it was Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. That was the last time I bought a CD. Ah, uh, okay. Because... How about you? When was the last time you bought a CD? Oof. Probably I remember the last time was when I was in the university mm -hmm. because. In this time, probably sometimes we we use the CD for record uh, a homework or for for something. But a, a, a lot of time ago, I use a uh, pen drive. Got it. Yeah, but CD probably for for the university. Mm, you. Um, when was the last time you fell? Mm. Last last week, my last time was was the last weekend when I played. I, I don't know what is the name for bolos. Bolos. Oh, Bowling? Bowling. 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 Mm -hmm. bowling. I went when, bowling. I went, when I went bowling. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, because a lot of time ago we, we didn't practice um, and the, the bowling. Yes. Uh, and the door is totally, mm, the surface is, is not fine. It is resbaloso. Uh, painful. Yeah, yeah. And in the first, in the in the first, in the first time was, uh, I fell. Is the first time you fell in a long time? Yeah. Got it. When was the last time you wanted to forget about the world? 
I want I wanted to forget about uh, 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 up down to to up no 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 uh, this is the world oh, yes yes when um, there was last time you wanted to forget about the world yeah maybe last night I was really tired and my fr my friends were like yeah let's go out and I was like no I'm going to sleep <laughs> uh, and uh, so probably then mm -hmm. for me when was the last time you danced mm, well p probably two months ago here in my house with my wife nice. um, oh. When was the last time you played a sport? Is the last sentence in the yes. When was the last time you played a sport? The last time I played a sport was hmm, maybe a while ago. I don't really play team sports. I go on runs a lot, but I don't necessarily play Sports, but I guess running. I guess I ran yesterday. So. But, but probably I remember you, you practice running. And uh -huh. In my mind, it's on a sport, no? Does that count? Yeah, I guess that counts. Yeah. Um, all right, we'll ask two more questions. When was the last time you had a nightmare? Nightmare, I don't know what is nightmare. Nightmare, um, the question would be, I don't know what, well, the sentence would be, I don't know what nightmare is. I don't know what is. No, what nightmare uh, is. I don't know what nightmare mm -hmm. is. Nightmare I don't know what nightmare, nightmare is. Nightmare is pesadilla. Oof. To be honest, probably my last my last nightmare was this year, but I don't remember what exactly day. But <laughs> the nightmare was with my boss. Mm -hmm. Uh, and was a nightmare because he 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 fired me. Okay, this this is in your sleep, right? Is un sueño? Yes. Okay. In, in, in the nightmare, he fired me. Oh no. Yes. Not good. It was what was terrible. Okay. Yeah. That that doesn't sound fun. Nightmares are are no fun. Absolutely no fun. So, yeah. okay, we have a pretty, I'll let you ask one more question. <clears throat> okay. Uh, when was the last time you drove for more than two hours? Um, the last time I drove for more than two hours was on my way to the ranch in El Estado de Mexico. Um, my family has a ranch and we got lost in Mexico City. So we did like a really big annoying loop. No. And it was unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it, was, it was not even like because we're going somewhere really far. It was just lost in Mexico City. So we yes, I did. Since, instead of an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So on that note, let's go oops, do our irregular past simple verbs. Okay, we have a pretty good idea of how we're going to ask the questions. So the dynamic here is that we're going to go box by box. We're going to conjugate them into the past simple tense, these verbs from the infinitive. And then we're going to choose one of these words to ask a question like the ones we've just been asking. Okay. Okay. But the, the first is uh, found the, the, the birth in, 
in past simple. Right. Step one, conjugate to past simple. Step two, choose a word and make a sentence to ask. Right? Okay. So Excel. go for it. Write becomes uh, wrote. Mm -hmm. Drive becomes drove. Mm -hmm. Right. Right is mm, right. Not quite right is road. And road to. Uh, I don't know, shine. Shine, do you know the word shine? No. Briar. Uh, and it becomes Sean. Sean, okay. Sean. Wait a minute, because I write in my word. Okay, okay. Rice. Mm, I don't know why. It's, by rice, what does it mean? Rice. Rice is um, como subir. But is escalar? No, that's climb. Um, sería subir como subió el precio. The price rose. Oh, okay. Or the sun rose, subió el sol. Okay. okay. Which in English, we, in Spanish, would say salió el sol, but. Salió, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, freeze frozen? Freeze is frozen, uh huh. Yes. Wake. Or freeze is froze in the past tense, not frozen. Frozen is the adjective, congelado. Uh, froze. Congelo. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, wake. Mm -hmm. Wake becomes. Mm. I don't remember. Walk. Walk. Wake. Wake. Okay. Where? Where is, for example, today I use or wear pants. Exactly. Today I wear, well, I'm wearing pants. Yeah. Ooh, the bus. Oh, I don't know what is. War. War. If you notice, there's a pattern here. Most of these words in this box yeah. are going to add an O. Okay, sure. Sh sure. Where is jurar? Sure, sure, sure. Sword? Sword, exactly. Okay. Um, tear? Wow. Tear? Uh, What is tear? Because I don't know. What is tear? Tear becomes tore. But what is tear? Tear is um broken, similar? No, not not break, but like ah, I, I remember. Yeah, we talked about this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, is still a stall? Stall, so, mm -hmm. uh, I, I forgot bear, right? Mm -hmm, you missed bear. Bear becomes boar. Bear mm -hmm. is como, um, like a tree bears fruit. Like a tree? A tree, it bears fruit. Or a woman can bear children. Mm, okay. Uh, 
break broke mm -hmm. mm -hmm. speak spoke perfect Mm -hmm. ah. get got mm -hmm. forget forgot good win one perfect yep all right now we let's see we have all of our words conjugated into the past simple and we're going to ask a question like uh, like follows. So I'm going to say, for example, when was the last time you broke a bone? Okay. Uh, I never broken my bone. Sorry? Oh. I never broken my bone. I've never broken a bone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'll type that here. Oops. I've never, I've never broken, broken a bone. A bone. Um, when will uh, uh, my turn? Your turn, yep. Uh, um, when was the last time when was the last time you won a lottery or, I, I what sorry when was the last time you won want won the last one one not it doesn't have a d or an n or a t or anything it's just one one what when was the last time you won something mm -hmm. yeah uh when was the last time i won something i don't remember it's been a long time <laughs> because i don't really compete for anything like that so i don't know i want to bet with my roommate <laughs> He bet that his computer was older than 2010, and I bet that it wasn't, and I won. It was from 2011. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go on to the next section. Okay. We're going to do this one. This one's a lot easier. Whoa. Ah, the bars of the red is red. Yep. Whoa, one. Hey. Put. Uh, put becomes put. Ah, two? Mm -hmm, it's the same. Okay, put. Cut is cut. Yep. Ah, hurt is hurt. Hurt is hurt. It's exactly the same. Ah, exactly. You're going to find Shoot. a pattern here soon. Wow. Shoot. Shut. Shut. It is the same? I, I don't know. Same. Yes. Shut. Do you know what shut do you know what shut means? Yeah. Mm. Is that what get shut? Shut is silencio? Uh no. Well, I mean we do say shut up, but that's not very nice, but yeah, it doesn't mean silence. <laughs> it means close. Uh, okay. okay. So you can say shut the door, shut the window. Usually when we close something like this, shut your computer. Okay. Uh, only the combination is callar. Uh -huh. Shut up would be callate. Okay. Okay. Shut cerrar. Uh, cost is cost. 
Mm-hmm. Cast. I don't know what is cast. Cast um, could be to throw a line when you're fishing. Yeah. It could also be when you choose people for a show. No? So you could say, oh, we cast the show for a TV show or a play. Mm. Another example? Um, another example of cast? Uh, well, as a verb, there's only a few. I, I can give us a definition, though, if you want. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a common, oh, okay. It's not a common word. It is pretty common. Like I said, we use it to talk about when you decide um, people for a show. Uh, it can be to cause light or shadow to appear on a surface. We don't use it very often that way. To register to vote or um, register a vote. So if you cast a vote, it means that you voted. Okay. Um, and then so there's it could be a noun. a noun. It can also be a noun, I guess. I've never heard it. Well, bronze cast, yeah. Uh, un molde. Okay. And then we can also, it's, I guess we use it for a lot of things. An act of throwing something forcefully. Okay. okay. Which would be like a fishing line, no? That would be the throwing. But then they, they also don't have the other verb here, which would be to cast like a show, no? When you're deciding okay. on people that are going to be in a show. Uh, but the cast is cast. Cast is cast. Okay. Broadcast. Whoa. Mm. Broadcast. Broadcast. Broadcast is um, poner al aire. Poner en el aire, como de televisión o de radio. Salir al aire? Salir al aire. Mm -hmm. wait, wait a minute. Nice. Like you say, they broadcast the news on Channel 5. Or there's radio broadcasts. Uh, Naomi, for example, when I... When I... Heard about the podcast right now. The train is podcast. Mm -hmm. It's a similar, but it's only for listen. Yes, but podcast is not a broadcast because it's not live. No está en vivo. Ah, okay. So it's not the same exactly. Ah, okay. Tiene que estar en vivo. Incluso siento que ya no va a existir broadcast. In el futuro cercano, because we don't really need to do things live anymore like that. I mean, most people yeah. watch the news on their phone, or they watch the news on, you know, I don't or, know. Or or we have a podcast, and we, we, we don't need a broadcast for exactly. the news for the concert. Right. Most things can be recorded that day and and shared that day for people to stream, but it's not necessarily the same as a broadcast. Okay. Hit. Okay. Hit. Hit. Hit is. Hit. Uh -huh. Exactly. And the pass is. Hunt. No, the pass is hit. Hit too. Mm -hmm. Hit. Wow. Um. Fit. 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 Mm -hmm. fit. Uh -huh. The pass is fit. The pass is fit. Set. What is set? Set is like um, to put something on something else. It's a kit. Not a kit, but like say I set my glass down. Um, okay. On the past, I don't know. I imagine set, set. Uh -huh, the past is set, exactly. Ah, okay. Let. Let? Let, let becomes let. Mm -hmm. Spread. Mm. 
I, I don't I don't shoot because a spread is when you start something. No. I don't I don't remember what is a spread is. So spread is when you like it can be like spreading something out to extend it over a, a wider surface or area. You can spread butter on bread. You can spread the sheet over the bed. Okay. Okay. It could be embarrar, o sea, poner, colocar. Colocar eh, y colocar y hacer más grande. ¿Sí me ah. Como al mismo extend. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, what, what I mean, spread in the past tense. Spread. Um, to be honest, I don't know. Spread. Spread. It is spread. Okay, but in my mind, a spread is only not only for food, but in a lot of time, I can use a spread for food. You can use spread for food a lot, but you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for, uh, for example, a spreadsheet, like an Excel. Mm, okay. That's a spreadsheet, no? It's something that gets bigger. Um, it can extend in every direction, essentially. All right, all right. A, a, a split is a split because a split is one part in different parts. Exactly, divided. one part in, into different parts, divided. Uh -huh. Divided. Beat. Like the Michael Jackson song. Yeah, but the pass is beat. Sorry? The, the pass is beat. The accent is beat. Ah, okay. Oof, um, boards. Uh, First, to be honest, I first is like explotar. Boards. I can imagine the past is boards too. It is. Yes. Wow. Right. <laughs> this section is right. The same. So if you notice, they have little things that say family at the top. Oops. Let's see. So we have um we have these things at the top that say family. Yeah. And this family uh has words that usually have an O added and they keep the E at the end. Etc. Etc. This family doesn't change. Okay. Can you start or give me an example, please? Uh, an example. For example. Okay. So, wrote become or write becomes wrote. So we have an O. Um, it keeps the rest of its consonants, but we just change the I for an O. And then. Uh, this one all stays the same. Ah, okay, okay. Be be because I understood that well, we need to build uh, sentences, but I understand oh. the, the... Oh, right, right, right. Okay, got it. Yes, I hear, I hear what you're saying now. So, um, let's, I'll do my first, I'll do the first question, okay? Okay. So, my question is, when was the last time you... Hmm. Put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, put your what? Eggs in one basket. Es decir, eh, en inglés tenemos un dicho, cuando pones tu, todos tus huevos en la misma canasta, es como apuestas todo a una cosa. Mm. Uh, probably my last time when I put I put the the eggs in the in the basket was one basket. All my eggs in one basket. When what? When was the last time? You ah this question. My was last time. When the last time I. The last time I. 
Put all my eggs in one basket. Put all it, my eggs in one basket. Was when I when I decide in my job a sell salt salt all the stock for only one customer. Wow. All of the stock to one customer? Yes, because he is a wholesaler and he has the he has the the he, he has a national wholesaler and he has the sales force to split all the stock in a country. Okay. Nice. Did it work? Yeah. Good. That's always good. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's do some of the smaller boxes now. So, feel becomes. Feel, fell. Felt. Felt, F E L T. Yeah. Fell. Keep. Keep. Keep is keep. Kept, exactly. Ah, kept. Uh, sleep. Slept. Slept. Uh, swept. 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 Uh, but I don't, I, I don't know what is Wait. swept. Barrar. Um, mm -hmm. Barrar. Barrer. Barrer. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um whip web, but I don't know where is whip. Oh. Whip, whip is whip is llorar, pero mucho. Mm. Okay. Okay, and leave is left. 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 Continue with the stick or? No, no, that's it. That's all you need for that section. So let's see. Uh, what is, what word are you going to choose for your question? Um, when was the last time you, you wept? Um, Probably not. I don't know. I cry a lot, but I don't weep a lot, you know? Like, so I cry, but I weep is like when you're like super, super, super sad. And I don't think I've been that sad recently, but I, I cry pretty often. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's see. When was the last time you felt uh, very surprised? Uh, surprised? Ah, um, my, um, uh, my last time, my last time was when I felt very surprised was two weeks ago, maybe, probably because my, my, my son and my wife gave me a, a sweater for for only for, 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 without, without reason. They give me a, 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 a 
I swear, it, for, for me, it was great and, and, and a lot of surprise. Oh, that's so nice. I, I love surprise presents. I don't think we should only give presents on special occasions. Yes. And, and the important was not uh, at this time, at this time, not was a special day. It wasn't a special day. Ca no. Casual uh, gift. Love it. We love a casual gift. Wonderful. All right, let's do the next section. Um, wow. Probably, I don't know. Stick, stick is aderir, pegar. Uh huh. Well, but uh, I don't know what is the stick. Stick becomes stuck. Hang, hang. I don't know what is hang. Colgar. And the roll uh, on hang. hang. Um, swing. Swing puede ser columpiar, um, pero también puede, puede hablar de como tus brazos, ¿no? Like, I swung a bat. Okay. And in baseball, we talk about swings a lot. Yes, I remember when I watched a um, sport TV show about swim, but, but, but the expression is only for a sport. Or not this no, we can, I mean, it's only for this movement, like this movement of like swinging your arms or it can be for uh, like un columpio, literally, if you're on the swing, swinging. <laughs> okay, okay. okay? So when, it's kind of this back and forth pendulum movement. Uh, it doesn't need to be back and forth, it can be in one direction. Uh, and the past is swung. Uh, I don't know what I have to be uh -huh. honest. Wolf. Okay. Strike. Uh, uh, in my mind, I think two different words. A strike when the uh, when the company. Uh, Huelga. Yeah. So they, they will, or in in a baseball. The same example, you put on a strike for for the ball. Right, yeah, strike on the other team, right? And three strikes and you're out. So strike is to hit as a verb. Oh, okay. okay. Because strike como huelga and strike like in baseball, those two things are nouns. Nouns. Mm -hmm. Uh, but um, a stroke, I don't know. Struck. A stroke. Stroke. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, the ick. To, to be honest, too, I, I don't know what is the ick. Escalar. Escavar. My, my dog dig the herb. Pasa? Ah, my dog. dog. My dog, dog, there to search uh, bones. My dog, dog, to, to look for his bone. To look for his bone. Okay. Do you have a dog? No, no, uh, any, any pet. No pets. No. I don't have, I don't have any pets. No. You could say, I don't have any pets. Uh -huh. I also don't have any pets. So. 
sting. Uy. I don't know what is a sting. Sting es como picar, pero la forma que nos hace una abeja o algo así. Un escorpio. Okay. Un escorpión, perdón. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but only use steam for animal? Mm. You could say that um, when you get a, a shot or something, it can sting. No, oh, okay. No, or if you get something in your eyes, your eyes can sting. Ah, okay. okay. You no, know, if you get alcohol in your eyes, it stings, obviously. Okay. 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 All right. So on that note, let's Whoa. let's pick our question. I start. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you uh, stuck uh, a picture? In the wall? Mm, I don't usually stick pictures on the wall. I usually um, like nail them. But I, the last time I stuck a picture on my fridge with a magnet was like two months ago. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. My question for you was, um, when was the last time you dug a hole? Uh, uh, what? A hole. Un hoyo. Mm, well, a good question because in my mind, my last time was probably when I was a child. Uh, or probably... You haven't planted uh, any trees? Yeah, yeah, probably. One month, one month ago, probably. Nice. What, what were you doing? Uh, I... A repair, mm -hmm. repair uh, a scooter, a scooter uh -huh. of my son, and we need to 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 dig. To dig, so, we needed to dig because you have needed in the past tense. Yes, we needed to dig. Dig. The the, the scooter. Come. Tenían que excavar el scooter? Uh, no, I dig the, the, the walk. Oh, you needed to dig in the wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. Understand. All right, let's do the next session. Um, so we have say, pay, and lay. Say. Say becomes? Set. Yep. Paid. Paid. He, what? I'm, I imagine late, but I don't. I don't. Acostar, I don't know why it's late. Acostar. 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 Okay. So on that note, uh, what? Uh, you can ask the first question. Whatever you want. Uh, when was the last time you uh, when when was the last time you when you paid a uh, credit card? Oh, um, I've only had one credit card, and I don't have any credit cards anymore. <laughs> I, I think it was like. Two years ago? Yeah, but I don't use credit cards. I only spend money that I have. Well, okay. Uh, for me, when was the last when was the last time you said a joke? Uh, or you said something funny. <laughs> Probably last week was when I said a uh, job for my colleague because he lives in a, a difficult zone or a popular zone here in Mexico. And he's famous because he lives in Iztapalapa. Mm -hmm. 
but in Iztapalapa, probably you know about the the Blue Angels. He's a musician very famous. Angeles Azules. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I I say a uh, 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 funny a uh, funny because a joke. Because because yes yes i say a joke because it's a danger danger son but is famous in the same time at the same time at the same time perfect awesome all right next section oops cell becomes Cell, cell, Benda. Cell becomes, no, in the past tense. Ah, but the, the, the meaning is Benda. Uh -huh, the meaning is Benda. So, so. Told. Mm -hmm. Tell, told. Exactly. So I was going to say, we usually use told for jokes rather than said. And that was my mistake. I guess my question was a little bit weird. Did you understand? Que normalmente mm. usamos told para chistes en vez de said. Oh, okay. So you could say, Only I for... told the joke. Oh, Only okay. for jokes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Es como contar un chiste. Okay. Yes, because probably when I try to know about the difference between said and, and, and uh, he said me uh, a he new told me a joke uh, but he, he he told me a joke uh -huh. but or he he's he well he told me the news too no contar sería told and said uh, dijo uh, okay yes but when i use a uh, yo i need use Oh. Exactly. Okay. So, do you want to go first? Mm. When was the last time? When was the last time you sold something? Um, the last time I sold something. Mm, probably classes. Probably English classes <laughs> at the beginning of the month. Yeah, yeah, good, good example. Yeah. When, when was the last time you told uh, someone bad news or good news? Wow. Um, good news because probably in the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. I told with my colleague because he received an increase a salary uh oh, a promotion yeah a salary increase no. yes 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 and, and and a consequence he received the promotion and increased the salary nice. and i nice. told to him about the topic our communicating the the promotion wonderful that's it's always nice to be able to tell people good news yeah. okay. So that's all the time we have today. Next class, we'll continue with this. Please make sure to review all of your vocabulary so that we don't have to go back. Take your time, take 10 minutes every day and just go through the list. Hey, uh, uh, Naomi, can you please share me this PDF? Absolutely. Because it's, it's, it's great for, yeah, for okay. trying to develop the exercise. Yeah, let me send it to you. Um, In I'll the send it Google. To you. In the Google Doc and in the WhatsApp, okay? Ah, okay, perfect. It's perfect for me. In the WhatsApp okay. uh, chat. I was also gonna say, yeah, thank you for your class today and I'll see you again next week and make sure to keep reviewing all of your vocabulary. I know it's a lot, but um, if you review, it will, it'll stick. Okay. All right. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the day. You too. Bye. Bye.